Moving ahead with our last video on how to both compile and run your Java code in Sublime Text, which was quite handy. Today I'll be walking you through one really cool customization in Sublime Text, which would make our life more easy. It's called creating snippets. What snippets do, they enable us to save our most used pieces of code in a file and then be able to write them super quickly with triggers. So basically they're like templates that we create and then can reuse them again and again. So here's how it is done. So we go to uh, tools and then developer and then we click on new snippet which opens up a new snippet skeleton for you to customize. So the first tag of our concern here is the content tag. Here we have to put in the actual snippet inside this C data tag. So for example, we are going to create this snippet for uh, having a new method in Java so that we don't have to create the method uh, uh, completely from scratch. We ha just have a snippet and then trigger it with a tab trigger. Right. So I'll just type in uh, what I want in my snippet. That is, I'm uh, specifying the return type as void. Uh, of course, you can specify some other return type as well, like int, float, char, or any other uh, class name. So void, and then what we can have here is the field markers, what I call the field markers, with the help of which we can cycle through specific positions within the snippet by pressing the tab key. So I'll just have uh, my first field marker, and you have to define them as dollar, then the number. So because it's my first field marker so I specified the number as one and then uh, which would specify the function the new method name right so then I'll just have my two circular braces and then I'll say dollar two that is the field marker number two if I want uh, at that moment of time to have a number of parameters to my method right and then I'll hit enter and two curly braces a pair of curly braces and then dollar three which is my third field marker, which I would use for uh, writing code inside my method. So that's it for the snippet. Then we have the, these optional tags here. And uh, the first tag, the optional tag is the tab trigger tab, which defines the series of keys we'll press later to insert this snippet into our code. So I'll just uh, uncomment this tab trigger and instead of hello, I'll be putting, for example, MET. So whenever I type MET in my file, this snippet can be inserted right on immediately. Okay. So then I have this another optional, uh, uh, that is the optional uh, tag that is scope. And what scope is used for, it specifies where this snippet can be triggered. For example, if we want our snippet, this new snippet, to be triggered just for PHP code. So we should write the scope here as source.php. Similarly, for JavaScript only snippets, we should specify it as source.js. So for this example, for this demonstration, if I'm going to use this uh, new method snippet exclusively for Java files, so I'll be using source.java. So that's it. So we're going to save it, this file. I'll hit Control S. And then I'm going to save it inside the sublime text user directory. Inside that, I can name it anything. For example, I'll name it method. But this is the point you have to uh, notice. That is, we have to specify the extension of our new snippet file as sublime dash sublime hyphen snippet. Okay. So I can call it anything, but the extension has to be sublime hyphen snippet. And I'll just hit save. Okay. So that's my snippet saved into the directory so now for example if i am programming uh, in a java file i'll be selecting java here in sublime let's let me have a class for example class some more fun i'm calling it some more fun and then a pair of curly braces and now for example if i require a method so i don't have to uh, write it like this void and uh, punk and then any parameters and ar and then the body what I can do is I have a super fast mechanism ready to be inserted now. So I'll just type my tab trigger, which I had kept to MET and Sublime knows 
it's a method so i'll hit enter and here you are so why it is as it was in de uh, defined in the method dot sublime snippet file and then the first tab trigger so i'll be writing my function name for example in this example it's func and then you press tab you go to the second field marker if you have any parameters to be inside this method so for example i have my parameters int params and when you press tab you go to the third field marker that was inside the body of this method so i'll press tab and here i am that's a very handy thing so for example i'll just type uh, uh, system put out dot print ln these customizations are really fun right indeed they are okay so that's it so that's how we can use snippets to make our more life more easy so that's a really nice way to save our time especially in today's world where they say time in itself is money until next time goodbye